Section 3, Alabama Real Estate Requirements. When someone with the intent of receiving compensation performs the services of a licensee, whether as a part of a transaction or as the entire transaction, or anyone who claims to be a licensee, they must hold a real estate license. So in Alabama, you must have an active Alabama real estate license in these situations. Buy or sell or offer to buy or sell. Aid, attempt or offer to aid. Procure or assist in procuring a prospects for the purpose of effecting a sale, exchange, lease or rental property. Or present yourself or be presented as being able to perform an act which a license is required. And this is for compensation. Now, understand compensation is just not money exchanging hands. It can be gift cards, gifts such as a fine bottle of wine, season tickets to a football game, anything like that. That's considered consideration. In the situations coming up on the following slides, just so you know, it's unlawful for anyone or business entity to either receive or expect to receive any consideration, money, compensation, whatever you like to call it, for these situations unless they have an Alabama real estate license. There is an exception to every rule, and that is for sale by owner. That's people who act on their own behalf. Any person can list, buy, rent, or sell their own property without a real estate license. Licensee, that describes any business, organization, or individual that has been granted legal permission by another entity to engage in an activity. All right, the qualifications for a salesperson's license. You gotta apply for licensure with the commission. You have to be 19 years old have both a state and national criminal background check that goes along with your fingerprints, high school diploma or equivalent, successfully complete the 60-hour salesperson's pre-licensing course, and any other information that's requested by the commission. You also have to be competent and trustworthy. You have to have not had an application for licensure be rejected at any other state other than for the failure to pass the written exam in a two year prior to the examination. Also, you cannot have a license that's been revoked in any state within the past two years. The commission may reject an application of any person who's been convicted or pleaded guilty or nolo contendere to a felony or crime involving moral turpitude. If you're working with a broker and you desire to change offices. You can transfer your license to a different qualifying broker, but you need to provide evidence of the transfer and a fee. So what you need to do is a written notice to the commission, send a copy to the qualifying broker. The new broker is going to file a request of transfer and statement assuming liability and there's a $25 fee to issue a new license certificate. Now let's talk about transfer fees. When you go from inactive to active, it's a $25 fee or when you change brokerage offices, you transfer over to a different brokerage office. If you're going from active to inactive, there is no fee. Earlier, when we were speaking about changing brokerage offices, we talked about evidence of transfer. So here's how you provide that evidence of transfer. You send to the commission office by means of certified or registered mail return receipt requested. Okay, so you have proof. And you retain that paid mail receipt. That's what's going to serve as evidence of your new license by the commission. Return of a license. A responsible party, such as a broker, may withdraw consent for a licensee to continue to do business in their name. In other words, the broker's firing the agent, if you will. 
The broker or responsible party must notify the commission and the licensee in writing and return their license to the commission. So let's talk about reciprocal licenses requirements. If you have an original current license in another state, you may be able to get an Alabama reciprocal license by doing the following. You need to take a six hour course in Alabama real estate law. You need to take and pass the reciprocal salesperson's exam on the law within 12 months of your completion. You obtain a certificate of licensure within 120 days of the receipt of the reciprocal license application and the application for license is going to be given to you at the test center upon your passing the exam. Co-brokerage agreements. They're subject to the provisions of Code of Alabama 1975 SS 34273. The Alabama broker shall have the listing or joint listing. There needs to be a written co-brokerage agreement that specifies all the material terms and financial agreement. The Alabama broker must supervise all showings and negotiations. Also, they're liable for all acts of the out-of-state broker. The Alabama broker is responsible to verify that the out-of-state broker is licensed as a broker in the said state. And the Alabama broker must hold escrow money unless the buyer and the seller agree to relieve the Alabama broker of the responsibility. So, after meeting the education and or experience requirements, you have to pass the real estate licensing examination with a score of 70% or higher. Applicants have six months to pass the state exam after completing the course. If these deadlines are not met, the course must be retaken. If an original license is not issued within six months, the temporary license shall automatically be placed on an active status by the commission. Now, in the remaining six months, the licensee can complete the 30 hours of post-licensing and have their original license issued. If they do not complete those 30 hours within that year, their license expires and lapses automatically, and they have to start all over again. A temporary license is not subject to renewal procedures and cannot be renewed. Post-licensing. You must complete 30 hours of post-licensing course prior to the original license being issued. You must complete the course within six months of issuance of the temporary license and have the original license issued. Continuing education requirements on or before September 30th of the final year of each licensing period. Licensees must submit proof of the completion of not less than 15 hours of approved continuing education coursework. Failure to meet this deadline will result in the license being placed on an active status on the following October 1st and the license shall be subject to reactivation requirements. Continuing education shall not result in a passing or failing grade, and fees are listed on the handout. A licensed real estate assistant is registered and paid by the broker for real estate activities. If unlicensed, they're either paid by the sales associate or the broker and is limited in the activities that can be undertaken. September 30th, all licenses are issued for two-year terms and expire on September 30th of even number years.